had some kinds of trouble getting out of the three-point line against mm -hmm. people. Well, this team, obviously. Well, that's what they do, you know, obviously. So um, hopefully our antennas are up. If they're not, and we're going to struggle. So uh, there's no secret what they do. You know, they use Howard as a uh, great post guy and a guy to suck in everybody. Jameer Nelson tries to or crack you off the dribble and go draw and kick, and then they look for threes, and that's what they do. Um, so how important is it that you have a guy to guard like, straight up? You don't oh, have it's vital. Guys. I mean, I think it's, it's as important as it is to have a guy guard, um, you know, Howard straight up, it's probably as important for us to stay in front of Jameer Nelson. I think the dribble penetration actually creates more threes in their post game. So uh, we got to take that away as well. Just how different is this series with Nelson and KG in it from, as opposed to last year? Um, well, we'll find out. I mean, obviously we have a, a go-to guy in Kevin that we're going to go to, and uh, they have their leader back. I think he's their team leader in a lot of ways. He, uh, they get a lot of their toughness from him. Uh, he makes big shots for them. So uh, I think it's two different teams anyway, you know, yeah, especially them. You know, they've changed their personnel completely. Uh, uh, but, you know, it's like we told our guys, you know, Cleveland uh, wasn't our goal, and neither is Orlando. Uh, having said that, uh, Orlando's a team coming into the season that you felt if you wanted to get out of the East, you had to beat Orlando. They're the team that won the, uh, the East last year, not Cleveland. And uh, I wanted our guys to make sure they have focus on that. Coach, you guys had some of your best transition games in the 